In this video, I'm going to show you a really simple technique for taking a silhouette image without having to shoot in manual. For the best silhouettes, you need a dark subject with an identifiable outline set against a much brighter background, like a tree on a horizon or a someone set against a brightly lit window. These are scenes where normally the limited dynamic range of cameras would create problems as they'd struggle to expose for both the strong highlights and deep shadows. However, by making creative use of this limitation and choosing to expose only for the highlights, we can underexpose subjects to make them appear as our strong silhouettes. So first I'm going to set my camera to its aperture priority shooting mode. And I'm going to select an aperture of f8. Now I'm going to set my ISO to ISO 100. Because I'm going to be exposing for an area of highlights, I don't really have to worry too much about shutter speed. I know it's going to be quite bright for this image. Now I'm going to set my AF point to single point and make sure it's in the center. And I'm going to set my exposure mode to spot metering. Now all Canon EOS cameras and several PowerShot models have an auto exposure lock feature. This is the button that looks a little bit like a star. When activated this function stops the camera from continuing to adjust its aperture and or shutter speed values in response to changes in light. So when combined with spot metering this allows the user to take an automatic exposure reading from a small part of the scene, in this case the brightest part for our silhouettes, lock the camera's exposure settings using the auto exposure lock, then we're free to recompose the image, focus and take our shot with all those settings fixed for the highlights. So I've selected all my key camera settings and I'm going to start taking my image now. The first thing I'm going to do is just to take my exposure reading from an area of highlights, that's the, that's the sky up here. The camera's giving me various different readings as I move around, but I'm going to make sure that it's locked for these highlights. So I'm just going to press that exposure lock button on the back. I'm now going to half press the shutter again to focus on my subject, the tree, and recompose my image so that I'm happy with it and take my shot. And what the camera's done is it's used those initial exposure readings that I took from the sky to select all the settings and applied them to this image now. So because I've exposed for the sky but I've got this dark subject I've now got my really strong silhouette and that's all it is really. It's a really simple technique but a great way to take some strong silhouettes without having to manually select all of your camera settings.